Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trail Makers. And today we are hopping back in the workshop to see some of the crazy creations the community has been working on. Okay, so up first, we have a crazy, crazy concept by Marty Sama here, the combination war mech. And this is kind of like four builds in one because it's a modular war mech that has attachable and detachable arms that are vehicles on their own, but they can attach to the vehicle that you see here to become mech arms. It The, the, the idea is crazy. I spent the past like 10 or 15 minutes or so just figuring out how to control everything and make it work. And I think, I think I've got it. So what we have here is the main body. And what is crazy about this is here's the main body. These are the arms down here and on their own, the structure is too complex to actually spawn in the main body and the arms in the same build box. So they have to be spawned separately as individual creations because you wouldn't be able to build it as one creation because there's just too many parts. But let's look at the main body first and then we're gonna look at these other parts and try to successfully attach them. All right, so here we go. You can see we got a handful of controls there. First of all, just look, I love the coloring on this thing. Oh, look at in the body there, those triangular pointed pieces sticking out are an awesome design choice. Okay, so we got some controls here. Um, you can see on the front, I have two small cannons or small guns that I can aim up and down. And I believe control, all right, there we go. Control is to start shooting them. And oh, I accidentally left another war mech on the map. Well, you know what? Let's destroy the war mech with a war mech. There we go. There we go. Oh, that did more damage than I actually wanted it to. I wanted to use some of the other weapons on it too. So we also have E is the cannon, as you can see there. Nice big cannon. Now check this out. Q, this is a rocket on top here and uh, this rocket flies amazing. So I press Q. It activates, aims, and then automatically shoots. And look at that. Look at it go. Look at it go. And... I didn't see the explosion, but it's gone. All right. And yeah, we have standard driving and a thruster boost as well. All right, what does number one do? Oh yeah, and then here we go. So this is the attachment mode. So when you're going to attach one of your modular arms, you need to actually put your, stabilize yourself, put your wheels up, get them out of the way. And uh, here, let's repair ourselves so we have all of our parts back. And then we'll go ahead and, oh, oh, didn't like that. Go ahead and get out. And now let's spawn in our first of three modular arms. And I guess we can attach two at once and then we can swap out one of them. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. If I don't completely fail at it, of course. All right, so we have a standard mech arm template if you wanted to kind of build your own version of the arm. So we're not gonna be looking at that. We're gonna be looking at the already built versions of arms that aren't just the template. So we have avalanche, we have minigun, and we have raging volcano. So let's start with minigun because that's the most normal sounding name. Avalanche and Volcano, uh, they sound a little bit more interesting, so I kind of want to save those for after. All right, so here is Minigun. Just look at, th this is a whole creation that is just awesome on its own. So you can drive this gun around. It's really, really, really slow, at least in its standard mode here, because it's designed to be attached to the thing. But if you press control, we have a massive boost, as you can see. All right, so let's see here. E and Q. Oh, yeah, those are the attachment buttons. Number one. Oh, wow. There we go. That is awesome. And he has the mad science block to add just that extra action effect onto the shooting mechanism. All right, so, yeah, it's definitely a minigun. What's number two do? Oh, yeah, so number two puts the wheels away after we get up on the thing and then... Oh, cool. Yeah, we can completely control and articulate the arm. These are for when we're actually attached as an arm. So speaking of which, let's go ahead. Oh, boy. Oh, too much. Let's go ahead and attach ourselves. Look at the back of this thing. This is awesome. I'm pretty sure that's purely just for aesthetics. Good attention to detail, though. All right, here we go. Oh, no, no. Careful. Careful. All right, now here's where the slow moving is going to come in handy. All right, we're gonna make sure we're nice and lined up. That actually looks like perfect. And then all we gotta do is press T and then the sensor should automatically, there we go, automatically attach ourselves just like that. And then if I wanted some extra security, 
I can activate the electromagnet on my end as well. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll put the pistons up. We'll put the wheels in. And we now have an arm that is attached to this vehicle. So I can get in here. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to cross wire the controls by using electromagnetic attachments because they're still two separate builds. They're not linked to the same seat or anything. So if you had, this would be an awesome multiplayer build. And then at some point you can detach your arms and then they can drive away as their own individual vehicles and like attack from behind or something. That's an awesome idea. All right, so let's put our wheels down. Oh boy, I hope this doesn't interfere. All right, that looked good. That looked good. So now we can drive this thing around. It's a little bit floppy, but it's understandable. That looks like a heavy duty arm. All right, let's go ahead and get out, get in the gun. And now we should be able to control this as its own independent arm. Look at this. And then control, oh wait, I forget how to activate it. One to shoot. There we go. Yes, this is awesome. Okay, let's turn that off. Let's go ahead and look at one of the other arms and see if we can't get two on here at the same time. Okay, so up next, let's look at the avalanche, I think was the blue one. All right, so we have most of the same controls. Space. Oh, I know why it's called Avalanche now. <laughs> it shoots a bunch of snowballs. That's awesome. And then we will get it ready. Uh, oh, I just realized those are fingers. I was wondering what the, the bulbous things were on the front. It's like a hand with the gun on top of it. I see now. That is awesome. And when it's in vehicle mode, oh, I see. When it's in vehicle mode, they're kind of straight out so they don't get in the way. That, it just got even so much better. All right, this is looking pretty lined up. Let's go ahead and lift ourselves up. Magnet should attach. I'll activate my magnet. We will lower the pistons. Put the wheels in. Oh, look at that. Look at the fingers go down. That is awesome. All right, and let's go ahead and activate the main body of the mech. There we go. I am really happy that that doesn't destroy everything. Oh boy, floppy arms. Flop, look at this. This is a full-on mech now. It's amazing. Oh, it is so amazing. All right, here. I'm just going to get rid of this rocket because it gets in the way when I get out of my seat. So let's go ahead and launch this thing off into the distance. There it goes. That's not going to hit anything. Oh, maybe that, uh, maybe the planet over there eventually. Let's get out of the seat into the avalanche and see what it's like to control this thing from the actual arm. Look at this. Look at this. And what was it? Space? Yep. Holy cow. That is a lot. That has a lot of snowballs. It's, it's almost like an avalanche of snow. Get it? Avalanche? Because it's, it's the name. It's like when they say the name of the movie at some point in the movie. Okay, so now we've seen avalanche. We've seen minigun. So what I'm going to do now is detach minigun. Here, let's go ahead and put the wheels down. Um, and we're going to deactivate our magnet. And then on this one, we're going to put the wheels up so they're not in the way. Uh, then I'm going to get back into this and aim up. Go to the left. There we go. <laughs> Just to make sure we're not going to have any issues. All right. So then I think if I get in the main body and press X. Oh, nope. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. I think it's uh, Y then. All right. Y. There we go. We detach the arm. The arm can go ahead and drive off on its own. We'll leave that over there. Oh, oh, there it goes. It's just, go it's just going. Oh, I didn't know it was gonna keep going. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> don't you hate it when your hand drives away? Okay, so, oh, we're ready. We don't even need to get back in the main body. It's all set up to attach the third arm. All right, here we go. This is Raging Volcano, if I remember correctly. So this one, let's actually attach it before we start firing it. All right, I think we're nice and lined up. We go ahead and raise ourselves. You see the sensors activate, and after a certain amount of time, I think the, yeah, it just turned on. The electromagnet, it turns on automatically, but I like to activate mine just for some extra stability, because you see there's one on the top and one on the bottom. All right, and then I just like to have the war mech put his wheels down, so I feel like I'm more of a functional vehicle when I start firing with the arms. All right, and as you can see, we can aim with this one. Oh wait, let's put the, the wheels in. Oh, look at the, the fingers. Oh, I love the fingers. 
All right, and this one I think has a different shooting control. Is it? Oh no, it's space. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Just like a volley of four explosive cannons. All right, but I know I forgot this in the last video, but uh, this time I'm gonna remember. Can I blow myself up? I th I think the answer is gonna be yes here. Oh oh oh! Come on, come on. Come on, we could do this. I, I'm actually having more trouble than I expected. I'm I'm really actually having more. I thought this was gonna go smoother. <laughs> Did he actually make this so that I can't blow myself up? I'm trying so hard just to aim at the ground. I think he actually find like dialed in the the angle so that oh it's so close. There, oh so close. Uh oh. There, here we go. Here we. Oh, come on, come on. We're so close to blowing up. Just aim. There. Ugh. We still haven't blown our. Oh, whoa! We did some. What? <laughs> yes. There we go. All right, that was more difficult than I expected, actually. And I was impressed with how much that survived. We blew ourselves up, and this guy over here is partially survived. We got two fingers left. But, um, I don't think he's having a good time anymore. That's just a super impressive build that requires a lot of forethought and some nice programming as well to make everything easily attachable, like, automatically. Oh, and there's actually one more. I almost completely forgot and missed this, but we have a railgun mech arm. So this one looks like it's gonna be a tough one to hold, but let's give it a go. All right, check this out. How, what? Does this thing shoot eyeballs? I mean, they're like little bullets, I guess, if you really look at them, because um, he colored them all black, but they're the eyeball parts, which is awesome. Oh, and look, we got the, oh, whoa. Oh, I see how it works now. So there's a magnet right in the back. The tube is amazing. It's a, using those parts to create a barrel is an awesome idea. Oh, and look at the end of it. It has the, um, the curve to kind of catch the ball. So it looks like we have the magnet in the back that's gonna push the ball as well as these magnets on the side. So this is, this is like a rail gun. This is gonna be cool. All right, here we go. Engage attachment pr procedure. Lift pistons, turn the wheels in, put fingers down, put the wheels down, get back in hand. I'm gonna aim myself up a little bit. I'm gonna press one to activate the magnets and then by the looks of it, he programmed this so that they drop down one at a time. Actually, I don't know if I want to aim up too much then. But let's see how this goes. Activate! Holy cow! Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! Oh! Delayed annihilation! Okay, well, it worked, and, and then it didn't. <laughs> but... At first, it worked, so we're gonna count that. <laughs> All right, so that took up a lot more time than we normally spend on a single creation, but when you think about it, it was more like four creations. So let's move on to another one. Okay, up next, we're gonna be looking at another snail. Uh, the last episode, I looked at a snail, and it was adorable, and it was awesome, and we killed it. So we need a new snail now, and this is Turbo, a snail racer by Ocean Man. The last snail we spawned in was as slow as you would expect a snail to be, but this one's apparently a racer, so let's see how it goes. I love the use of the hover pads for the shell. All right, well, there we go. Okay, there's the spinning. Well, he definitely spins fast. I love the, I love the fact his shell has a spoiler on it. All right, and space. Oh, oh, we're going, we're going, we're, I didn't know it was gonna go. <laughs> it's so stable, actually. This is impressive. I just need to overcome the initial friction to get going. Um, turning is a lot more difficult once you start going, though. You really have to hold it. It doesn't, it's not instantly responsive, but this is amazing. I think, like, I, I think we're literally just dragging across the ground with the thruster here. And it totally works. We got a snail. Uh oh, uh oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, now we can get a look at what's underneath. Yep, it's just a thruster. That's all it is. Just a thruster underneath. 
Oh, okay, so when I press space, it closes the mouth because things get serious. He's all happy and stuff, and then things get really serious when he's in, uh, when he's in race mindset. And the eyes, I just, the eyes are amazing. Those eye pieces are a great addition to this game just because of this snail and the other snail that we had, too. All right, but we have to try to do a jump. He's a snail racer, but is he a snail jumper? What do you think it would be like in the mindset of a snail to actually jump? It's just, it's something that is just a completely foreign concept to a snail since they just slosh across the ground. Oh, look at this. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Oh no, his eyes. That was sad. I thought we were gonna fly there for a second. We would be a flying snail, but nope. You know what? Maybe if I control my thrust, I might be able to pull this one off. Let's see how we do. Well, it looks like we lost another snail in the recording process, so uh, let's move on to another creation. All right, up next by Cardinal here, we got the War Rig a Mad Max concept, and this thing just looks like it's made out of intimidation. Credit to Ozzy for the suspension. I guess there might be some kind of interesting suspension concept with this. So let's bond this thing in and see how it drives. I think this is just an aesthetic build mostly, like it doesn't like have any weapons or anything like that. It's just, oh, look at this thing, it's awesome. But all right, check, oh, look at the exhaust at the back. Check out the, just the design of this thing, it is awesome. I love the front. Oh, it looks so heavy duty. Like this, thing's, this thing looks absolutely bulletproof. All right, so here we go. This is without thrust and this isn't bad for speed actually. We're going 120, over 120, just with our normal speed. So let's go ahead and drive ourselves over to this area. I don't know, I'm not gonna go as far as I was initially gonna go. All right, and then, oh, it's a, it's a subtle boost. I think what I'm hearing is the mini thrusters for the boost, not like a dragon engine or anything. So, so he's not overdoing it on the boost there. Oh, and one for lights. Where are the lights? Oh, there they are. And the front, of course. And then if I press backspace, oh, yep. And then we have the rear lights are hooked up to brake. So good attention to detail there. All right, let's take this thing off a jump and see what happens. Actually, let's go to a catapult. I don't know if, uh, if this is true or not, but I've heard I've heard a rumor that they fixed the catapults so they should be less instantaneously destructive to our creations. And I think this is the perfect creation to test this rumor on. Will we instantly explode or will our car actually get catapulted? Let's see how it goes. In three, two, one. Oh, it works. Catapults work. Oh no, this is, this, I don't think this is gonna end well for us. You know what? The cabin is completely intact. I think that we would have survived that in the Mad Max world if we if we went through that catapult. I mean, it would have been a rough landing. It would have been a really rough landing, but I think we would have survived. Man, check that out. This is the first time, not the first time. We actually did an episode a long time ago of trying to build a catapult proof car because everything would just get destroyed. And I think I succeeded. I don't really remember. Failure and success. Oh, I gotta drive faster onto this thing. But yeah, failure and success often get blurred on this channel. All right, is this landing gonna be any different? No way. We didn't keep any of our wheels, but that's really all that we lost. One more try. I wanna try to get more to the center of the catapult this time. There it is. Look at that. It's beautiful. The catapults are so much more of a thing now. All right, and what about the cannons? I don't know if the cannons were changed at all. So let's go ahead and look at this build. The, the cabin is so well fortified. It just stays intact. All right, let's see if the cannons are any more viable of a thing now as well. All right, this vehicle is just barely the right size for this ramp. Let's slowly back into the launch point. Oh, whoa! I don't know what they did, but they did it well. They fixed the cannons and the catapults. You can now launch yourself without fear of instant death. <laughs> I guess you could say it's delayed annihilation since when you land, you're gonna probably die. But we might be able to use this for future concepts. We can actually make like um, some type of flying vehicle that gets launched by catapults in order to get up into the air. Oh, this was not the best decision. They're probably just gonna land in the water. Yep. Yeah, we're just gonna land in the water. It was so gentle. 
Oh my goodness, and wheelies. Oh, oh, I just, this vehicle just got about 10 times more awesome. You can do, you can pull off wheelies if you go backwards and then forwards. Look at this. Here, how long can we do it for? Go, 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 go. Not that long. Not that long at all. But, hey, it doesn't. What more can you ask for? Will it do the loop? I think it's gonna do the loop. Yeah, yeah, it did the loop, no problem as well. All right, how about a head-on collision? How are you gonna handle that, huh? Well, I guess... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you know what? It looks like we survived. Yep, the driver's seat didn't get touched. We're good. All right, well, what'd you guys think of these creations? What was your favorite? I mean, well, how about this? What was your favorite arm for the mech? And then what was your favorite non-mech creation? Because <laughs> half the video is just gonna be that mech. If you wanna see more Trailmakers Workshop videos, then you're gonna wanna check out this playlist right now. Click it, go do it. There's a lot of other creations that are just as awesome as these to look at. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.